Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I am a cruelty free YouTuber that is trying to have year long no buy. And today I am going to do a brand, rev brand review on one of my absolute favorite brands and that is Nobla. I don't owe everything from Nobla, there is some products that I have never tried, but I owe a lot and uh, yeah, Nobla is one of my favorite brands when it comes to eyeshadows and also with face products. So I thought that I could share my feelings and my thoughts about the products and what I think about everything. And I also have some brushes. And just for disclaimer, this is my personal opinions. I have never ever received any PR from Nobla. I wish though that I had. I have bought everything for my own money. And I have a dry skin type, skin type? <laughs> I have dry skin and I'm also over 30, if that doesn't, if that matter. I'm also really pale. So yeah, I think we just hop into this and I'm going to try to have sections and down in description I will leave timestamps for all the different things and if you have any questions about any of the products just ask me and I will try to answer. So if you didn't know Nobla is an Italian brand and it is uh, cruelty free and I think everything is vegan. I'm not 100% sure but I think that it's a cruelty free and vegan brand and what I do love about Nobla for me that lives in Sweden the shipping is so fast. I think it is if you buy for over 50 euros you get free shipping and it takes like two or three days to get to Sweden with DOL and it's just amazing I do love that and they I think the prices are good and the products are really really good so I thought we can start with brushes and I have both face brushes and eyeshadow brushes and I have bought, you can start with face brushes maybe, I have two of them, I have a highlighter brush and a chic shaper. This highlighter brush is amazing to their highlighters and I love it to others as well. It's a really like flimsy soft highlighter brush, it just gives an amazing glow to the cheeks with this one. I do really really love this and I think it looks really really nice. Cheek shaper I use for contour and this works really good with their contours. I think it is a little bit too big. It's kind of stiff but I don't know, it's pointy and a little bit stiff, but like not too stiff. I think it's good. It's not my favorite, but I think it is a good brush. And if you want to try it, if you like this shape, I think you would like this brush as well. When it comes to the eyeshadow brushes, I have two different sets. I have the ruby set and maybe the nude set. I'm not sure, but this is... I think this was called the ruby set. It's the red one. Can I try to do this? Maybe this is too many brushes. This is the different shape of the brushes. I do think these brushes are good, but they are not like my favorite shapes when it comes to brushes. I do really like this one. I think it's perfect like on your lower lash, but the other ones I think they are a little bit like too soft for me. I want a little bit more of a stiffer brush, but this one is really good. And uh, yeah, if you like these kinds of brushes, they are good, but it's not like my, my kind of brushes. So this is the other set and I think I do like this more. I do like this lip brush a lot to like cut my crease with. And this is really good to pack on shimmers, but the other ones, the same here. I think they are a little bit too flimsy for me. Flimsy and a little big like this one is so so big. And um, yeah, eyeshadow brushes are not my favorite. They are not bad but it's not like my kind of eyeshadow brushes. 
Then I have a lot of base products. So I think I'm going to start with foundation, concealer and powder. And then we're going to blushes and stuff. So for primer, I think that Nabla came out with the primer earlier this year. I am on a no buy to my defense, so I don't want to check too much. But I do have the Skin Realist. They have a full coverage matte foundation. That is not my guess. But I have the Skin Realist. And this one, I did a full face of Nabla when I did this look that I have on. And I use this and I can leave it up here if you want to see it. But this one, I do like this, but I wish there was a lighter color. I think it looks good on me now. I don't think it looks off. I think it's workable for me, but it is a little bit too dark. I have the lightest one that is fair. And the thing I don't like about this is it's really really thick. I wished it was a little bit more it did a little bit more watery and also I can't use a primer under this. This is supposed to be like this is a tinted balm and it's supposed to be skincare but makeup but I can't use a primer underneath this because it's like just a Okay, when I put this on, it's a little bit too dark, but then it sinks into my skin. But if I do have a primer on there, it is way too dark and it doesn't go together with my skin. And for me, that is dry. I wished I could have a primer underneath, but I can't. I don't know if this is happening to someone else, but for me, it doesn't work with the primer. But uh, other than that, without the primer, it works good. I like mostly to apply it with a sponge. You can apply it with your fingers as well. But I like to apply it with a sponge. I think that works the best for me. And yeah, it's really good. It fade. It doesn't hold up super good. Or like, it's not a full coverage foundation. It does fade a little bit during the day, but because it is a tinted balm it looks good when it starts to fade i have a first impression on it and a wear test that i can leave down in the description and up here where i talk a little bit more about it but i do like it i do wish though they had more colors i don't know how it is with the darker colors i think they have seven colors that is supposed to fit i think one color is for maybe four different shades but for me that is super pale, I would wish for a lighter one. But other than that, I do like it, I don't need to set it. And it looks really good on its own. I also have the Regeneration Uplifting Cream Concealer. This is kind of new to me. And I have it in the color Porcelain. I have used it a couple of times and I do really like it. It looks good underneath my eyes and... It covers what I need to get covered. The only thing I don't like is this little applicator. I don't get why you have this sponge thing. I just think it's disgusting. But other than that, I do like it. I don't feel it underneath my eyes. It's not drying. And yeah, this I could recommend if you are a little bit drier and if you don't want super full coverage concealer. So yeah, I think this is really good and I think this could be a concealer that I keep buying. Because so far I do really, really like it. And the last thing in this category is their powder. They do have a loose powder as well. I haven't tried that, but this one, this is their soothing, smoothing pressed powder in, I have in the color light. I love this, <laughs> as you may can see. This isn't supposed to fit dry skin, but it works amazing for me. It evens out my skin and it works really good with every foundation I have ever tried. And this holds up really good and I do really, really like it. My skin looks really good with this and it is a really, really good powder. And I could definitely buy this again when this is empty. And I have never been a big fan of 
pressed powder because I am dry, but this one is amazing. I I just love it. I don't know how it works for like an oily skin, but for my dry skin, it really, really is so, so good. And then I think we should go into the contour, blushes, bronzer and highlighters. And I'm going to take the different categories because I have three different of their things. I have four, but I have one that is no longer available. It was a limited edition. That is a cream highlighter that I do love, but you can't get this anymore. Um, but yeah, if they ever come back with a cream highlighter, I think you should buy it. But uh, I have three other different categories and I think we can start with the singles. So I have these six singles. I have three blushes, one contour and two highlighters. And I think these are so, so good. This is one of my most used highlighters. This is Baby Glow. And then I have Angel Glow, Gotham. Can I remember this? Nectarine. No. Kendra, Nectarine, and Impulse. Kendra, Nectarine, Nectarine, and Impulse. I do really, really love this. These are not super pigmented. You have to build them up, and I do love that. And these, I think, have a really good price for what you get. And they are just amazing to work with. The highlighters, I do love. They are kind of neutral and just gives a really nice glow, but you can build them up. The contour, I think, works really, really good. It just gives a little bit of contour. And the blushes are super nice, all of them. And I do really love them. And I also do love Nablus. And I do love that you can buy these as singles. I think that is really, really good. Then we can take one of the newest things they had. It's the two Reasons Cream duos. I have two of them. I have the Soft Nude and this is a cream blush and a cream highlighter. But you can use these on your lips as well and these are like multifunctional. So I think you can use them all over your face. And I think these are so, so good. I never thought like this one that I was going to like this that much. It is just an amazing like wet highlighter but it's not like too much and this blush is amazing. I love this one. I also have the Berry Nude. I do like this one as well but not as much as the other one and these are just really, really good. I love to have these when I'm not wearing super much makeup or I just want something. Then I usually use the soft nude. And these hold up really good. They are easy to work with. They look really good on the lips as well. And these are just two wonderful products and I wish that I bought more colors. And I can also recommend a video from a person that I don't remember the name of, but that helped me when I bought this. I will leave her channel and her video down in the description. She did swatches on all of them on her face and these are just amazing. So I love these ones so much. But I think the things I love the most from Nabla for my face is their skin glazing products. I have these. Yeah, it went a little bit overboard maybe. Uh, I have four blushes, one highlighter and one bronzer. So I think we can start with the bronzer. I have the lightest one that is called Ombra. I have this on today as a contour and yes I do contour with a bronzer even that you shouldn't. But this is just so, so nice for my pale skin. These are a little bit like a creamy texture. They are not a cream, 
product, but they are not a powder either. I think they are a little bit similar to like the Super Shock from Colourpop, but at the same time not. But they are a little bit bouncy when you press them and they are just wonderful. They are not that pigmented, but they are so easy to build up and it looks so so good. So this is Ombra and this I can really recommend if you are pale as me and if you want a bronzer or a contour, I use this contour. And it's just an amazing product and I love it so much. Then we can take the highlighter and this is Ozone. I wished there was another color that would suit me, but I don't think there is. This is also one of my most used highlighters. This looks amazing. I have it on today. I don't know how many times I've used this. I really do love it. I think it goes with everything. It goes with a cold tone look. It goes with a warm tone look. It goes with something super colorful and glam. It goes with no eye makeup whatsoever. This is buildable and gives a really nice sheen to your skin. I think they did an amazing job with this and I know when this came out it was sold out like forever. I tried so long to get my hands on this and I'm so glad that I didn't give up. I love this one so so much. For the blushes I have four of them and I do love these blushes as well. Today I have Independence on. And this is a cold tone blush with a little bit of um, silver sheen to it. These blushes are not that shimmery. They look, I think, more shimmery in the pants. But they are not that shimmery when you get them on your face. This is Lola uh, Pink, a little bit more of a warm blush. This is a very neutral blush for me and I do really love this one as well. Then I have one of the darkest one that is adults only that has a gold sheen to it. I think in this one you can see the sheen more on the skin. But this is so beautiful. A dark red blush with a gold sheen. Perfect. And the last one is Truth. This is a cold... I, I would say that it's a cold one with a gold sheen. Is that... I don't know if that is right. Maybe it's a little bit peachy. I don't know, but this looks amazing as well. Um, this is also a little bit more, not super matte, but it's not shimmery. I don't know with Nabla, but they are amazing of doing base products like blushes and bronzers and highlighters. That is some of the things that I love most about Nabla. Then we can go into eyeshadows and I'm not going to show all of the eyeshadows. I have done a ranking on my Nabla palettes. Uh, I can leave it up here but I don't going to show all of them because I have like 14 or something. And I don't want this video to be super long but I thought that I can show the different types of eyeshadows they have. So we can start with the one that I like the least and that is the glitter quads. I think they have three of these, or maybe it's two. I have the one that is called, I have no idea. This was the first one, yeah, Miami Lights. It looks like this. I'm not a big glitter person. I have used, I think, two of these shades. I guess if you like glitters, you like these, but for me that doesn't, I'm super thrilled about glitters. I'm not super thrilled about this palette. But I think it's a cute and good form of it. And I like the mix of the glitters. But it's not something... It isn't for me. But I do. I do like it. <laughs> but it's not for me. And I, I can understand why people like it. And I think, as I said, if you like glitters, I think you would like it. Then they also have their little... Cutie palettes, they are seven of them, and I took out two. Um, uh, I took out the coral palette that looks like this, and in these little cutie palettes, they have different 
formulas and I think that all of these are a good mix. I have had a cutie week on my channel where I used all of these and also did rank them and talked about all the palettes. I will leave it up here. And I do really like these. I think this is a fun way for people to discover a brand and maybe don't want to like invest in a super big palette. So they look a lot different and I think they have done a really good mix. Some mix are better and some are worse, but yeah, I can show you my favorite actually. This is actually my favorite cutie palette. This is the platinum. This is an amazing palette and the shimmers in these palettes are really good. The mattes are really good and they have this latex formula. I don't get th the thing about the different formulas, but the cute palettes are really good. I like the little formats and I think it is a good thing that they have these if you want to try it out, but you maybe don't want to buy a whole big palette. But I thought that I can show some other bigger eyeshadow palettes they have. They have this one, the side by side. This is my favorite palette in my collection. My favorite palette from Nabla. It looks like this. This is everything you need for neutral looks. It doesn't have any colors, but for neutral looks, whichever way you want to go, this is everything. The shimmers are amazing. The mattes are amazing. I do really love this palette, it's an easy palette to play with and I would recommend this if you want to try Nabla and you don't, maybe this one and a cutie palette and then I think you get all the good things from Nabla. They also have like this dreamy tube that looks like this. This is one of the palettes that I've used today, I did use this one and this one. This palette is, if you want some more shimmers in your life, I think this is a good palette and I do really love the color story. And yeah, this is one of their 12 pen palettes. Then they have also released, I think it's two 15 pen palettes. This is the secret palette. This has been my favorite from Nabla before the side by side. This is a really good mix between neutrals and colors. And all the colors in this is amazing. They work super good and it is a really, really nice palette. And maybe you should, okay, if I'm going to recommend either the side by side and the cutie palette or this palette, because in this you get their wonderful neutral colors and also the wonderful shimmer colors and colorful colors. So. Yeah, this is also a super good palette. And then they also have some singles. Um, these are some of the singles I have. These are mattes and super mattes and I don't get the difference between these either. That is one thing that I don't get about Nabla. Just do mattes, shimmers and glitters. This latex and um, super mattes, I don't get it. But yeah, they also have single shadows that I think it's, they are really good. I don't notice any difference between the single shadows and the palettes. And I think it's good that they have this option as well. But I do think they are really good with doing different palettes. And I think they are good to mix them. So yeah. And the last thing before I go into shut up about Nabla lipsticks. I have some of their liquid lipsticks and if you have been here for a while you know that this is one of my absolute favorite formulas and especially the red ones. Nabla has some of my absolute favorite reds in my collection like this Rumors and this Unspoken but they also have other colors. Today I have this Canron. These are really comfortable matte lipsticks and I think they hold up really good, but you can also, they don't hold up if you're eating to like oily foods and then they start to disappear, but you can just put a new layer on and it will look good. 
If you have dry lips, I think you need to really like prime them before. But for me that has normal lips or my lips are not dry, they work and they sit on the lips amazing and they feel really good. It doesn't, they dry down, they are really, really, really like dry. <laughs> no like payoff whatsoever, but they don't feel too matte they don't feel too drying on the lips and i do love them and especially the red ones they have an amazing collection of reds nabla also have lipsticks and i haven't tried them and also some products that i don't have left from nabla but that i have tried i have tried the mascara the black one and the major pleasure vicious and major pleasure i think they are good i like the vicious more i could definitely buy the vicious again and i think that yeah it's a good mascara for a good price nothing super special but it is a good mascara and i've also a couple of years back tried their eyebrow pomade if you like pomades it's good i'm not a super big fan of pomades anymore but yeah if you like it i think you would love it but i don't think it's that in with pomades anymore correct me if i'm wrong but yeah that was all for my brand review on nabla this is one of my favorite brands i do love almost everything that I've ever tried and if you have any questions just ask me I will try to answer them and I would recommend everything that I've talked about especially like the highlighters the blushes and the eyeshadows they are so so good and also the red li liquid lipsticks but yeah I hope that you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope that I will see you in the next one bye